Hello, family, friends, brothers, sisters. It is March the 20th of 2020. Um, I've actually been trying to record this video since March 19th of 2020. And it is just after midnight here. So I'm going to try to do this quickly. And I'm going to plead the blood of Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, over my mind, body, and spirit as I bring forth what I was shown to Father's children. And I plead the blood of Christ over each and every person that may come across this video or watch it. I ask you, Holy Father, to please just um, bless me through your Holy Spirit to be able to deliver what you want me to speak to your children. I pray that each and every person will take the prayer and counsel on what is spoken here and that they will listen with spiritual eyes and ears. And it is in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name, Father. I give you all glory and honor for everything that you give in advance, Father. Thank you for the foreknowledge. Thank you for not doing anything unless you reveal it to your servants first, Father. It's in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name. Amen. And I give glory to Yahushua HaMashiach and the Holy Spirit for wisdom and understanding. Now, what I'm going to share with you, brothers and sisters, I just want to put the disclaimer out there that I'm not in any way speaking of any specific event that's going to take place on 321. But three weeks ago, I was shown in a dream twice. 321, as you see on the screen, it was a date. I was clearly given understanding that it was a date, in fact, and it said 321. What I cannot tell you is what is going to happen on 321. I cannot tell you that it is March 21st. It could be March 2021. I don't know. I've prayed and I've asked for confirmation. And um, maybe Father doesn't want to give me all the details right now. But what I do know is that I have been pressed hard in my spirit to come forth with this about 321. And like I said, I can't, I can't declare that any specific event is going to happen on 321 but as we can see with all that has taken place this with the coronavirus spread this man-made pestilence that is spread all over the world right now with um lockdowns being enforced martial law being enforced with the famines and the earthquakes and the pestilence I can we can clearly see, brethren, that we are in the beginning of sorrows. Matthew 24 is already unfolding, along with many other prophecies in the Bible right now. Now, what I can share with you is a dear sister in Christ, Priest Poli. Her channel on YouTube is Yahushua's Servant. She was given a message about the equinox about the vernal equinox and the autumn equinox which takes place in March and in September of every year. The vernal equinox it takes us into the springtime which yesterday on March 19th was the vernal equinox. March 19th of 2020 the vernal equinox took place. It shifted us into the springtime. As you can clearly see that put us in a new season with what is happening with this virus we are surely in a new season in time in prophecy in life things will not be the same things will not be as they were before we are literally in a new season a new era brothers and sisters i don't know what is going to go down on 321 if anything it could be something spiritually something taking place in the heavens. But what I can tell you, the reason why I mentioned the vernal equinox is because in Genesis, Father says, he says when he made the light in a firmament, he said, let them be for signs and for seasons. The vernal equinox is a heavenly sign and prophetic things happen around these, uh, around these, uh, um, when, when these signs take place, uh, excuse me, when the signs in the heavens, when things happen in the heavens, these are high watch times. That's what I'm trying to say. These are very high watch times. And also something of importance. The beginning of April, the first week in April, we celebrate the Passover. Very important. 
especially after Father has given um, Priest Poli and, and other servants the message about praying over the firstborn. He, he wants us to celebrate, to honor the Passover. There is something prophetic. There's something, brothers and sisters, very important. And he has given instruction for us to pay attention to the holy feast days this year um in the bible in the torah it says in the in the torah that we should keep that from generation to generation speaking of the passover <sighs> i don't know brothers and sisters i just pray that we will all be paying attention and stay vigilant because from one minute to the next, things are changing and they are changing rapidly. From day to day, cities are being locked down and quarantined. They're bringing in troops. They're, they're setting up FEMA. FEMA has been activated everywhere. Okay. So we are in a very high watch time right now. I don't know what is going to happen on 321 i can't say that anything is going to happen but i know that it is something very important so like i said if something does take place i have done my due diligence to bring this forth if it doesn't it may not be this year i don't know but i had to come on and release that i was given 321 i pray that um I really pray that you take this to prayer. Maybe Father will reveal more. And maybe we'll see on 321. I don't know. But I cannot go to bed and I couldn't rest until I got this message out. Because I know he wanted me to speak this. So take all things to prayer. I pray that we all are being vigilant and reading our Bibles. For those of you who may watch this video or may come across it. And you still are not sure or you're still in denial about what is happening, I pray that you would just please get on bent knee and repent of your sins and ask Holy Yahushua into your life. I pray that you understand that we are in the beginning of the end. We are in the beginning of sorrows. We are, prophecy is just being fulfilled. We are in, we are, we have entered into destruction. I pray that each and every person is nurturing their relationships with Christ because that is what's going to stay, uh, to sustain us through these times, our relationship and our connection to Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. I give him glory and honor for everything. And it's in Yahushua HaMashiach's name, I pray that you all be blessed.